after four months of recuperating, I was put in a hydraulic knee. I'm not sure what kind it was. And then later on, I had the Rio knee, which worked um, good at first until it glitched up on me. And then I was, I was able to try and um, go to a seminar and try the sea leg. And I really liked that because the covers look nice and you can put the skin and all that on it. And then I had a water knee that I had to put the pin in so that I would not fall for swimming and going to the ocean and snorkeling. Um, the water leg, I had to always put the pin in it. Otherwise, every time the boat pitched, I would fall on the platform of the boat. So I, I learned very quickly to put the pin in it and walk straight-legged. So I feel very secure. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall. I can walk backwards, I can sit down. I can walk around all day in it without wanting to switch it out into a sea leg or a, a pro microprocessor. And um, I'm very excited about it. Okay. Snorkeling and scuba diving and using it in my own pool so I don't have to switch out and pop my leg in and off and uh, crab crawl to the water to get in and mm -hmm. out and wait till it dries to put my socket back on. So I'm very excited. It took about 30 pounds of extra legs with me so that I could have a backup leg because I didn't think I'd be able to walk in this water leg all day long and go to lunch or go to the restroom. And so I thought I would have to pop it off and pop my new leg, on, my old leg on, my sea leg on. And now I've been walking in this all day long and it gives me security because when I went on vacation, I was afraid either the charger would fail or something would go wrong and um, I would have to get an early plane ticket home. And with this leg, I can wear all day long. I don't have to worry about charging it or the charger failing. And I can wear it the whole trip and not worry about having to plug it in or something going wrong with the charger.